like, oh my god, uh, Taku Nation UK's back. And Yay, um, totally went, totally went MCM last week and tired and uh so we saw so. anime <laughs> anime first mcm after there's so much to talk about for mcm um so we watched um kakai sensen and i, I kind of really like kakai sensen uh, it, it's just it starts with this dude and he likes taking pictures and then he, you fast forward to him being in this new world where there's humans and mo- like animal monster things but he's kind of special, and he has this thing about his camera, and his camera has those pictures of his sister. And no, no, nothing dodgy right there. No, it's just his sister. And she's in a wheelchair, and then you kind of find out something happens to him, and he gets superpowers. And these superpowers are given to him in exchange for his sister. So, yeah, I, we don't really know any much more than that. But I don't know. I kind of like his character. And he gets, he has a sensei that helps him. He's now working for a company called Libra. There's not much sense going on. Cause he's just kind of being pushed and pulled in certain directions and kind of getting on with stuff. I don't know why. I really like it. I don't know. I'm not into things like this sci-fi crap. Maybe it's because it's a cute little animal. The monkey who steals his camera. I don't know. Just like it, just like it, Harriet. I didn't mind it. Um, I liked the the beginning where he was kind of telling the story to his sister. I thought yeah. that that was actually part an ep- uh, epic opening, and then you mm-hmm. kind of go backwards as to what happened prior yeah. to the, his story that's leading on to it. Um, his powers are kind of cool. I his backstory, yeah, is is sad, and you know, one of the guys thinks like because you're a coward, but he he literally had no choice in the matter. But mm-hmm. um. Well, he was just shocked, and then whatever happened, happened, and his yeah. sister was taken or killed, whatever. Yeah, we, we don't know what's happened to her as yet, but um, mm. he's still writing this story for her. Uh, yeah, the monkey's really cute. Uh, <laughs> um, I like the guy, uh, oh, what, he has red hair, and he kind of has, like, uh, teeth sticking out of his gums. He's kind of cool. Uh, I forgot his name. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's, it's good. It is... It's... It's one of those ones that you could follow. It's not too serious as such. It has a... Uh, Slapstick moments. Pretty much, yeah. It kind of has that kind of... Uh, not do rah rah moment, but you know, that kind of surreal mixed in with reality sort of thing. That it does work yeah, because it's trying well. to be really serious at the same time, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That's the, Yeah, so I, I did like it. I, I can see myself watching it. But probably not um, straight away, but it is probably one I will watch later on. When I'm a bit bored and I've got nothing else to watch, so yeah, mm-hmm. I quite liked it. Uh, what about you, Messi? Uh, I actually did enjoy it. When I first saw it, I was like, "Ugh, actiony type thing." Yeah, exactly. And I was like, well, "What is this?" And then it was like a post book hopes it. I'm like, mm, "All right, I'll give it a go" because I like Fallout and everything like that as well. And I was I was sitting there just like, "Hmm, hmm, hmm, hmm." It was okay. It wasn't like the best one like that I've seen, um, but I did only watch the first episode, so I don't know if it improves dr- like dramatically like some anime do. Yeah, yeah. Um, if there's like correlation. I did like the everything. style though. And yeah. There's that certain bit in the first episode where uh, he's running. Um, it's like towards the end, and it's just really done really well. It like captures the actual motion of of running it's it looked really dramatic it was really cool i did like that bit mm. as a whole I, it was okay it was all right can i, I didn't can enjoy I just... it but you know it wasn't the best i have to say that the monkey's called sonic oh sweet <laughs> i looked into it's it it's actually called sonic yes it's actually called sonic oh my gosh yeah yeah no infringement there <laughs> um so that's it really it was pleasant we weren't we we didn't hate it we didn't love it um the second show show by rock um i kind of fell asleep so uh, <laughs> all i remember is it's sponsored by sanrio and the main girl there's this bit where she's on the bed and she's rolling around and it's just her boobs it's like focus on the boobs and she's squishing her boobs and she's rolling around on her boobs and i was just like <laughs> and then i woke up and then suddenly she's in 3d land and she's a 3d little cat thing Mercy, explain what happened while I fell asleep. Oh my gosh, right. 
Um, so, I mean, I'd heard about this anime before in the, the Riven game, and, and I played it a bit, but, uh, you know, I didn't really know that it was actually an anime until recently. Um, basically, she wants to join the school music club, but she's really, really shy, right? So she she hasn't joined yet, like it's not, you know, usually join at the beginning of school term and all that. So she's left it, I don't actually know how long it's been. Um, she's, she, she left it, she left it, left it. Um, she plays the Show by Rock uh, game on her phone. I don't know if it's actually called Show by Rock, the actual anime, but playing the rhythm game on her phone and she wins this. Oh um, yeah, the anime is actually called Show by Rock, yeah. Carry yeah. on. Yeah. Um, she wins the uh, uh, the Strawberry Heart guitar, which is like a super legendary guitar, super awesome, max stats, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, oh, yeah, that's so cool. And all of a sudden, like, her phone starts glitching out and she gets uh, teleported into a very zanakand esque world where it's literally, here's a bunch of dark, you know, modern buildings. And then here's like a thing that's happening and it all feels very surreal and quite dark. And then she gets dropped in, and it's just a bunch of, like, cat boys and cat girls singing and dancing with, like, totally pigs 3D, and by rabbits the way. and stuff in the, in the yeah. audience. Um, and she's like, what? And then suddenly, yeah, it's all 3D, and it's like, what is going on here? And everyone's playing music, and she's like, oh, this is so cool. And then a monster shows up, uh, starts, like, trying to destroy their um, m- m- uh, melod- zones. I think that's what they're called. It's something to do with melody. Um, it's like little personal stones that you you have to have like good music power to to get into this universe, um, which is apparently something she possesses, and they end up like nearly dying or whatever, getting their their stones taken, and then she's like, I can do this, and then suddenly um, the guitar starts speaking, and it's like really awesome. The way the guitar speaks, pretty cool. I was like, this is funny. Um, she starts rocking it out, and once it gets defeated, they're all like, oh, cool, thanks. And there are some people in the audience watching her, like, we need to sign up for our band. And then, like, there's lots of, lots of different other bands with different, like, styles and stuff as well. And she ends up getting recruited by this one agency who's really run down, quite sketchy. And then there's that one Sunday girl who, who every single time Sian says, Yan, she's like, what? like stereotypically like oh my god i can't believe you're saying meow and it kind of ends with her going what and there's like some evil mastermind dude trying to take over the show cosmos or whatever and it's a bit weird so, oh, i say a bit weird i mean it's it's i think a le- less easier to wrap my mind around than uh the donut cats but oh uh, what why are you hating on the donut cats girl i'm not hating Donut cats. I, I don't even said, understand why you hated it. it so much. It's two minutes long. It's fucking donut cats. What did they do to you? I love the donut cats. I can't I'm, believe I'm it. I thought you were joking. I thought cats. the hate wasn't real. The hate is so real. Oh. I hate. One thing I did like about it is the 3 dness I was like, oh, this an- this this animation is really cute. Because at first I thought. Oh, the animation is really lazy, and I guess it's because they spent most of their time making 3D, you know, the 3D characters and the locations and stuff, which makes sense. You know, if you if you're gonna use 3D in your anime, you gotta mention you won't. You know what I mean? Yeah, I did. I did like that, but I didn't think it was as cute as I was told it would be. It was very, it was very in your face, Kawaii-ness, pink hearts and. Yeah, and so what you're saying, you don't like elite that. outfits. Hmm? Mercy, so what you're saying, you don't like kawaii? I don't like kawaii. <laughs> okay, but explain right. to me why you don't like donut cats. Uh, why? What's uh, wrong with you? There wasn't there was a moment where uh, the guys like Kai, Riku, and the, the Kingdom Hearts fangirl in me went, and then I realised they weren't actually talking about Kyrie or Riku, and I lost interest in those two characters immediately. She's not still not explaining why she doesn't like the donut cats. Harry. I don't like donut cats. Get out of here, podgies. Roll away, that's it. Why? You have a thing about or dessert? Squishy. What is this? Where's all this hate coming from? Donut cats are inferior. Could have been pancake cats. Pancake cats? Pancake cats could have been pancake cats. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, and donut cats are totally normal. What are you? Why are you so offended by the donut cats? Because 
donuts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. So you quite liked the kawaii-ness in this anime, though, right? Is that what you're trying to say? To an extent. But you, it was the 3D stuff that you liked, right? Yes. <laughs> there was a lot of okay. there. <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> no? That's it? You, it sounds like you actually liked this anime. Did, did you not? Uh, no. Oh, you <laughs> did like that anime. Okay, I, I was... I right. did. <laughs> but did it. Uh, Harriet? <laughs> I didn't I got very confused over the whole mix of 3D and 2D and the fact that she shifted from one to another that kind of in the, in the state of mind I am in at the moment it's a bit oh my brain can't take this at the moment um storyline is okay when I first saw it I thought oh god it's another K-On um with the guitar you know like the, the band and whatnot. But, hmm. uh, I like K-On. I yeah. like K-On as well, but I, I just thought, oh, it's another one. And then um, when she got sucked into the game and then all the shit that went down, it's kind of, I, I really don't understand what they're doing with this. It, they're trying to make it... Yeah, they're trying to not make it a sp- uh, slice of life, aren't the, they? Yeah, it was kind of... You're, what is it? Mm-hmm. One or the other. You, you have to go down one route. Um and it didn't merge very well so I, I at the end of the story i was i was more confused than her herself like like what's going on here i i have no clue i'm now suddenly part of a, a, a girl group that i don't know <laughs> um yeah i i was a bit meh by it wait a minute you like idol animes don't you harriet i do like it idol. Com- in comparison, how did you feel? It was just lackluster or what? It was very lackluster. Um, I, I don't understand the presence behind it as such. Um, it, it kind of jumped from one to the other. And um, it's like, are you trying to be a magical girl show? Are you trying to be slice of life? Are you trying to be um, a superhero sort of thing? It, it just didn't equal out. Um... Yeah, I, I didn't get it. I really did not. I did try to get into it. Maybe I might rewatch it again and see, uh, and maybe watch the next episode. And maybe it's just me in my tired state. I have no clue, but I really could not get into it at all. Okay. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> well, I fell asleep. I've, so I've like, got not much guys. more. No, no, I've got nothing to say. I fell asleep for it. That was my opinion on oh, it. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> Your opinion was. Yeah, that was just... It swooned a full... Yeah, man. Still sleeping right now. This is all a dream. It's not happening. Like, Mercy dissing the donut cats? Not happening. It's no, not I, no, 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 no. Please don't diss the, the donut cats. I even love the donut cats. Yeah, <laughs> Har- yeah, me and Harriet want to. Our fantasy is to watch them and, and eat them at the same time, and then be like, "Too cute to eat, but we're still gonna eat you." Um, 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 um. Yeah. So. Um... Wow. All right. Okay. <laughs> oh man. So, so you're 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 giving me shit for not liking the donut cats, but you are just actually gonna shove them in your face. Yes. Yes. Wow. Probably so I so. won't, but. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm walking away I'm from this. I'm backing away from this. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk MCM, man. Oh, my God. Can I just say, bravo, MCM, for sorting the cues out. Yes. OMG. Now, I, I had press passes, so it's fine. But one of my friends had a weekend pass. So I was like, oh, okay, I'm not going to let you stand on your own. So I went, kid you not, 10 minutes. Yep. Pretty 10 much. minutes. Is that is that good or? Oh, very good. Mate, tr- uh, compare ten minutes to like two hours, three hours uh, at most. All right. Ten minutes was fantastic, and and the whole re-entry thing. Uh, so that was on the Friday, the ten minutes, and then the re-entry on the Friday again, ten minutes. I yep. mean, they had a whole new um different entrance, and then you walk through the side rather than the main entrance for newbies. Walk in and you're done, and they didn't even have security. I mean, as long as you had a wristband on and you you entered through the side entrance, it's fine. You didn't get harassed by people. I barely saw stewards. Barely, no, I barely saw stewards like I, intervening. I don't think I actually 
Yeah, Sony yeah, exactly. Shirts. I had to inquire going, where are the suits? Apparently, they're wearing white t-shirts. Didn't see any. There was some popo walking around, though. So, mm-hmm. Actual yes. popo? Yes. Yes, actual popo. I actually actual thought they popo. Were, I actually thought they were cosplayers. In and the I building. Went, and I thought, no, 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 they are policemen. They are not po- cosplaying. <laughs> no, nah, they're real popo. They were. I love your friggin', like, cosplay, man. Yeah, uh, just get away from me or I'll have to arrest you, miss. <laughs> man, that's so good. Let me take a picture. Miss, that's harassment. I'm arresting you now. This is uh, so authentic. No. <laughs> and we never Can I touch your baton? We never heard Sorry, of ma'am. Again. You're going to have to leave the building. Yeah. <laughs> I saw your friend, Mayor, play. He, he, he was in this awesome yes, war, war, wa- wa- Wario. Oh, uh, Waluigi. Yeah. Yeah, that's one. He, yeah. Was, he was in the riding dirty little car. I was like, yes! Ama- yeah, I saw it. It was amazing. I wanted to get video or photos of it, but uh, I-, I didn't have any time. And he was kind of like having a break from riding in it. And then because uh, he had a stall at Expo as well. So yep. I was just like, okay, and then I'll catch you later. But it, it was really good. Um, it was originally Luigi, but he-, he changed it up. So either way, it's still cool. <laughs> Super-ups. Super-ups. So many yeah. good cosplays this year. Actually, do you know what? I really enjoyed Expo. It was my 10th year this year uh, for Expo. So it's kind of... I'm a veteran now. That's quite scary. <laughs> right. Um, but yes, the queuing system is so much fun. I, I had a press badge as well, so um, I, I could walk in and out. But I was with David, so I went in with him at the queue on Saturday uh, because Friday I had to go get the badge first and then I went in and met him. I, I like the fact that they did this a few years ago where you could just walk in and then wait for the shutters to open and then walk in. That was great. Mm-hmm. Um, I was with a few friends of mine and we literally ran straight for Nintendo for Amiibos. <laughs> because <laughs> they had yeah, man. A, they had a few rare ones there they had like pac-man ness uh they had codename steam as well so if you wanted to get that you, you could get lucina or robin so mm-hmm. um had others there as well but i think the most popular ones were ness and pac-man i think they sold out literally within i don't know half an hour or an hour because when i was in the queue i was fifth in the queue and then when i turned around there's like a, a whole line literally just cascading around the corner and then after that, I went straight for Kill the Kill because they had a, a great deal there where you got like this box set um, if you got number three. So mm-hmm. I didn't get number two and number three. And because I got it, I got a free tote bag with Kill the Kill on it and a Space Dandy notebook, which is cool. Um, and then afterwards, I pretty much... Do- Friday, I did my shopping um, and headed back to work. Probably not the best thing to do again because by the time I got back to work, I was shattered. I was literally like, right, I, I was just so tired. Um, but then Saturday and Sunday, pretty much just go around, take photos, capture videos. So I, I feel disappointed that I didn't get as uh, many photos done this time. But um, I'm, I'm putting that down because I, I wasn't really well, to be honest. I, I wasn't 100%. I was, I, still now I'm like kind of... Uh, I was having a lot of dizzy spells over the weekend as well, so... No, no. Yeah, not really great, so especially when you're trying to shoot stuff, uh, you know, and then I discovered today I have a bit of dust on my camera, so I have to get that scent off to be cleaned, which is a bit of a bummer, so... Oh, no. Yeah. It's, so that means you're without a camera for a bit? Pretty much, yeah. Oh, annoying. I know. Um, so I, I won't be filming videos as such but then again i think the next event is july so you got some time i've got some time yeah i just need to get that sent off cleaned and then hopefully i'll be back to normal when i get in next it's just annoying because when i watched my music video back i can see it now and because the fact i can see oh it, yeah you posted up a picture it's kind of magnified it so when i'm watching back i'm thinking oh this is really annoying but um people seem to be liking the video anyway i don't think no one's noticed but if they have i'm sorry i i didn't know um yeah <laughs> that's all i can say i don't think it's come out in the photos though which is good so but then again i haven't looked through i haven't looked through any of sunday masquerade photos yet oh yes yeah, speaking of masquerade they moved it so it wasn't downstairs in the usual spot so when i first went in i thought oh it's going to be uh, shops on one side, the stage is on the other. But no, they had it upstairs on the first floor in the Platinum Suite. 
Sorry, what? Uh, the masquerade. They had it upstairs. Exclusive. Yeah. yeah oh, dude, did you go to the after party? I didn't. No, it was. Literally... I heard it sucked. <laughs> I haven't. Been... Sorry, I, I'm always the bringer of great news, aren't I? I. <laughs> I, <laughs> I went to one years ago, and I... and it sucked. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I didn't enjoy it. I was going to say, like, everyone was hyping it. They were like, oh, it's in the Platinum Suite in, in Excel. It's not in the shoddy Novotel. I've been to several at the Novotel, and I'm always beginning up going, it's going to be better this time. It's going to be better this time, and I'm always disappointed. <laughs> like, even when Vic Mignogna came and sang Brotherhood, which was really creepy, <laughs> and as much as I love him, it was really creepy. Like, no, n- nothing can describe him doing what he did dressed up in the star trek outfit oh my god anyway <laughs> so, so i heard this one was exclusive but i heard like 30 people turned up and like it was a total washout but no shit on the dance floor so <laughs> kit upon still wins yeah, <laughs> I, mean, I, yeah. You mean, uh, I, I mean i mean i want live updates from you harriet i still have not heard anything back but anything no I <laughs> so the next kit con i want oh. live updates Oh, I won't be at the one of the parties though, so... Oh, what? Um, what is this? Well, I won't be at the Sunday one. I'll be at Friday and Saturdays, but not the Sunday one, because I have to... You're just covering up, aren't you? You're the one with the chick the dance floor, aren't you, Harry? <laughs> mm, no. Try, you're famous. <laughs> I still, I still am bamboozled about this rumour. <laughs> really? Yeah. Wait, just... it happened. I know. What I... I don't know. One day I will hear the truth. One day. I don't know when it will be. If Find out who. It might be in 30 years' time when I've stopped going to conventions. You never know. You probably won't even know what the hell it is. Actually, I would never forget this. You, you might, but I'll never. This is going to stay with me for life. Oh. oh, my God. Oh, dear. Okay, so, yeah. So, upstairs, the pattern suite. They kind of... Um, split the days in half so they had the euro uh entries for euro cosplay on saturday with a couple of performances and then sunday was mainly performances and mm-hmm. very few walk-ons um so our first representative i um i don't know his name but i do know that this was his first costume and his first time entering a competition and he went as the lich king from uh world of warcraft Oh, he won! Yes, he won. They they actually did something different this year. They had the the, the two who came on, so uh, him and a female cosplayer. I don't know the character's name, but she had she was like an elf with a bow and arrow. So they won, but he is the one who's going to represent the UK. Oh, so, oh, cool. Yeah, so uh, that was really cool. Uh, my friend Hannah, she came third with her scar cosplay from The Lion King. Oh, bless! She came third. She came third. I was oh, so happy. Oh, that's small fry. Yep. Go small fry. Go small fry. I was so happy. And, um, uh, one of my friends came second, Kenny, who did um Chappy. Oh, I- <laughs> he was great. I loved his stuff. <laughs> That chicken, Joe found it afterwards and he was just like, just started squeezing it. It's like, <laughs> uh, and the best performance was for Justice League group. It was a uh, kind of a mashup of the new Batman versus Superman trailer with Wonder Woman in it. So they kind of redubbed it. So they had Wonder Woman's role in it. It's very well done, actually. Um, then Sunday, oh, I don't remember who won. My brain is frizzled. Uh, Hold on, let me have a look at my photos. But, um, lighting. Um, yeah, they, they kind of need to work on that for next time. <laughs> oh, is it still khaki? It was, um, what happened was they had the backstage fine, perfect, but when they came to the front, they shut the lights off. So I think it's a learning curve because it was, um, a different area. So I'm hoping for next time it will be better. So, some of my photos in the masquerade on Saturday didn't come out great, unfortunately. So there will be a case of I will have to um, not Photoshop the hell out of it, but probably brighten them up a bit. So mm. they had a different competition on Sunday. They had something um, that you won a competition to represent the UK in the Netherlands. Ooh. And uh, this was won by the ECG competition winners from 2000 and. 13 or 14 at like an oh, em- Emmy Zone um, was on the firm jeez oh, oh, I can't remember the other girl's name but they won for the Final Fantasy 6 cosplays um, a Rapunzel cosplayer won and the guy who was dressed from uh, <laughs> Cast Away huh? oh yeah I remember that guy with the ball I, actually, I actually spoke to him 
before the masquerade because we had to introduce ourselves um, to let them know that we're, we're taking photos of them. And he was just amazing. He was just so in character. It's like, yeah, Wilson would like to thank you as well. I'm like, oh, dude, seriously, you're amazing. <laughs> oh, so cool. Um, and they also won a trip to Japan as well. And Hello Kitty. Wow. And Hello Kitty came on stage as well. Um, oh, yeah, because that was Hello Kitty Land, Mercy. That Hello was Kitty. So much kawaii. Was it donut cats, right? <laughs> no, it was just hella cute. Oh, she was just around her dress. No, she was around her dress. You hate cats? <laughs> donut cats. No, There's I love no cats. No, donuts. Don't it's cats. just cats. Cats, cats, and cats. Oh, cat. Oh, okay, that's fine. They had little tent. Donut cats, though. No, there was a tent, and you could have um, Hello Kitty tattoos. You could have chalk what? in your hair, so you could what? have like dyed hair. And then you could have your nails done. You could have oh, face nails, paint. Though. Yeah. Face paint though. I mean, yeah. <laughs> two. Yeah. Twenty-two years old, uh, mature, responsible individual. <clears throat> face and you can charge your phone though. there as well. Yeah. Oh, oh sweet. Really? Oh, all right. Okay, I'm sold. I didn't know that. I would have gone there to charge. My phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was sitting there. I was camping there. I was like, leave my phone to charge. Oh, and there was a photo booth, Harriet. Oh no. It was out. so cool. Damn it. Really cute. And you had they had props. And it was good quality and it was all digital, so you get it all on Twitter straight away. It was fabulous. All free. Oh, sh- I missed a trick there. Never mind. Um, but Fabulous. Uh, they had minions there as well that you can have photos with. I wanted to get a photo with the minions, but the line was so long, so I thought, ah, uh, never mind. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, they had all, and they also had the uh, LOL, I think, there as well over the weekend, didn't they? Yeah, didn't they have it separate though? They did. It was literally oh. separate. Um, they, because I saw uh, Chris from uh, Jinx TV there, and uh, I just, I just met up with him beforehand because uh, I'm friends with him on Twitter. Just, uh, he was hosting a live show that evening on Jinx Live, so I was just going to wish him luck as well. Um, and it was just lovely the stage actually. It was nicely seated. It was away from everyone. It was very quiet as well, which is good. Uh, Mortal Kombat was next to it they had uh the vid fest there so they had ashens and the asdf <gasps> tomska tomska yep and they also had a dome um where they had talks there i wanted to see pardon me uh ninja brian on sunday but sadly i couldn't uh no! i know i had to do the masquerade so i couldn't meet him but i have met him before so i just haven't seen him face to face in his ninja brian uh outfit so I met him without the mask <laughs> uh, a few times. So, uh, yeah. I even wore my Star Bomb shirt on Sunday as well. So I was just like, oh, never mind. Um, oh, but I actually got featured in a music video. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah. Um, it was uh, Fresh Crew Studios, I believe. I'm going to get the proper... Uh, linkage. The, yeah, the proper linkage. But um, they had... It was like uh, photographers against cosplayers, mm-hmm. which was really cool. Yes, Fresh Crew Studios. And um, so it was me, Tyrone was involved as well. Uh, so we just had to kind of do like a, a face off between them, which is cool. Mm-hmm. So I haven't seen the finished product yet, but I've been told that I did good because I had to act like scared. And I'm like, um, okay, <laughs> I will try this. I will try my very best. So, yeah. Acting win. Acting win. At least I didn't have to speak because uh, I think I would have fluffed up so many times and I wouldn't have been there for another hour if I did. But yes. Um, uh, and uh, probably and a shout out to all the cosplayers who I took photos of for the weekend, who I did shoots with, because uh, you know, thank you for taking your time to do the shoots. I know you kind of want to venture around. I had so many awesome shoots actually over the weekend. I found the Wolf Among Us cosplay group in the car park. Oh wow! I was so happy. It was unreal. I was just w- went to the car to get my food uh, and I was like Could you- are you staying there because I, I want to get photos of you. I'm like, yeah yeah we'll be back. So um, I went with my friends and uh, the little girl. We came back and then uh, in between the shoots the little girl was just going up to them just like oh why are you all dressed up? It's just like <laughs> But um, that was amazing. Uh, my friend Patrick, he cosplayed as Roman Reigns as well. Oh, you know that guy? Yeah. I came up to him and I was like, 
props, dude. <laughs> Rose Thrones, and I, we did like fist bumps. I I first found out about his cosplay on the MCM group, and then I became friends with him, and then I messaged him. I said, please can I have a photo shoot. But he he's actually a really cool guy, and he had a, a, a gender bend. That's it of Storm from X Men. That was really cool, actually. That's where you met him. No, no. Um, I met him on Sunday as well. This was during the DC. Oh, and that Marvel was another shoot. cosplay. Okay. Yeah, it was on the Sunday. Um, my God, that group was massive. <laughs> What gender benders? No, 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 no. The uh, X Men versus uh, no, the DC versus Marvel group sh- uh, shoot. That was just like they took up the whole of the east entrance. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, that was just. Because I didn't think I was going to make it in time, but they literally just. Uh, it's on the end of my video, but they actually had them just run towards us, and I thought instead of taking photos, I'm going to film this. It'd be so much easier to capture on camera. But yes, uh, what other cosplays were there that I really liked? Um, I don't know, there's quite a few. Uh, there were warrior Pokemon as well. Um, a lot of LOL characters. They had one group that they were mixed in with uh, Girls' Generation. Mm-hmm. Which was kind of oh. interesting, actually. And they performed on the stage as well. So yes, very good cosplays. Um... I cannot think now for the life of me, but so all my photos are up on the Facebook page if you want to have a look. I didn't, I'm sorry again, I didn't take as many. Uh, I will try and be fitter for October Expo because hopefully <laughs> I will not be as sick because even now I feel like I've had 10 rounds with Mike Tyson. Oh no! I still do. I went there Friday, I, I was feeling really dizzy. Even now I still feel dizzy, so I think I should go to the doctor and see <laughs> what's wrong with me. It's uh, like con flu, isn't it? Fun. It is. Everyone gets yeah. con flu, right? Con flu, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I, I really did enjoy Expo this time. Loved it. So, yes, keep it up, Expo. We want more of this. It's really good. Yeah, it just it just felt comfortable. Yes. I don't know. I, like, no one freaked. It, it was just nice. It was. I, I like the fact that they had the shops on one side this time. I never... Yeah, and food! Yes, they actually opened up the halls for food. So, on the Friday before I left, I had some noodles in one of the halls. I actually sat down. It was actually really nice. <laughs> mm-hmm. it's good. And those are seats and stuff. Yes, you, you were Much. never stuck for seats. And even when I went inside the hall, there were people sitting by the walls, but they still didn't get in your way. Which was good. Even in the Platinum Suite, there was plenty of room to sit down for, for, for the to- photographers and the cosplayers. Yep, yep. Which is really good. And they even had like these warp vents on the walls that if you put your back to them, aircon was coming out. So. <gasps> Luxury. Oh, it was glorious. It was just like, I'm just going to stay here for the rest of the afternoon. <laughs> Never move, ever. Never move. Again. Yeah. Um, I, and I know this is ridiculous, but you, the, the difference between having carpet on the floor when you're shooting in the masquerade is a godsend. Especially the fact that you have to be either sitting down or on your knees to make sure you get the perfect shot. Because my knees can't really take much more of um, kneeling on concrete anymore. Hence why I have knee pads. But I forgot them on Sunday, so I just thought, ah, we'll just try sitting down. And it worked, actually. So that was good. I was kind of near the middle. So I just kind of scooted along and tried to get the, the shots of many people as I can so yeah all in all I I enjoyed Expo I didn't really take part in stuff inside like I didn't play any of the demos or I didn't meet any of the guests which I I never do actually which is (laughs) which is a shame but (laughs) confessions (laughs) I never do I um I was going to probably meet Felicia Day for David, but luckily David was able to go meet her on Saturday. LOL! <laughs> I was like, I didn't have to do it. <laughs> Very much so. No, I would, have, I would have met her. I do like Felicia Day, but um, I was just glad David did, so I had more time to kind of go around and do stuff. <laughs> Sorry, David. <laughs> but uh, what did you do, Aisha? 
Um, I never I... saw you at all. No, but we never do it at MCM. We normally see each other for a fleeting moment. Actually, that's weird. We didn't even see each other no, for one second. There were so many people I didn't see. But then again, a lot of people I know didn't go this time either, so... Do you know what? I really just chillaxed this time. I got all my stuff done on the Thursday, Friday. So I helped my friend set up her store, Love uh, Jojo, the alpaca <gasps> store. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I figured out the whole layout and stuff when I walked in when it was empty so I knew what I was doing on the Friday so I came in Friday um, sorted out my uh, interviews played my game said hello to who I needed to say hello to did all my cosplay photos Mm. Um, and then the Saturday did all my like stall photos you know where it looks busy and you know action that Mm. kind of thing and then that was the day where I kind of bumped into people hung out and then Sunday, even more so, more chilling out, hanging and stuff. That's probably why you didn't see me, because I wasn't walking around too much. I was kind of loitering, which was nice. It is nice. So to nice. Yeah. And I got everything done, so I was very pleased. I think the queuing system was a godsend. I didn't see people upset for once at MCM. And you know there's normally a bitching fest on the MCM board. I don't think there is this time around. I actually haven't looked at any of the threads. I haven't been on the forums in a very very long time mm. um but i haven't really seen much negative press as such i think there was an issue with re-entry for sunday um but apart from that i haven't really seen anything that you know that makes me think oh gosh i don't really want to go to expo anymore if anything i'm probably going to encourage more people to come back good hopefully but i think there was 122,000 people over the weekend yeah, it beat a record, yeah. Yep. Because last year it just crept over the 100,000 mark, didn't it? So, to get an extra 20,000, which is good. And even on Saturday, it wasn't too crowded that you could actually walk around still inside. And on Sunday as well. It got a little bit crowded um, where the ticket entry was because of re-entry and whatnot. But apart from that, it was really good. Badass. Um, other things we did that we had to talk about. Splatoon. <laughs> Splatoon. Okay, we didn't do Splatoon, but there was a lot of promotion of Splatoon at MCM. There was uh, like a hundred different designs of t-shirts and hats. And funny enough, so everyone's looking forward to this this goddamn game to come out. And what happens? Grand Theft oh, Splatoon. <laughs> yeah, fucking hell. Ga- games van gets robbed. I'm not even joking. No, this is legit. This is oh. actually legit. I thought they Harry, would... Harriet, read the email out. Oh, it's God. Brilliant. Hold on, hold on. I need to go to my Twitter. Um, so, yeah, they they announced this. I found this on a, the ami- one of the Amiibo sites I save on Twitter because I am, I'm literally now the searcher of Amiibos now on Facebook. <laughs> but... My friend actually got emailed this and was really distraught because they... Okay, you, you read it out. Because they got compensation, but what kind of compensation is that? I was disappointed. Okay, so this is to the person, dear so-and-so, we regret yeah. to inform you that the lorry transport in the Splatoon stock from Nintendo's European warehouse to Game UK has been stolen. Included in this delivery was our allocation of the Splatoon uh, plus Spl- uh, Squid Inklet Amoeba. As a result, we are unable to honour your original pre-order due to f- for delivery on the 29th of May. Due to these extraordinary circumstances, and they bloody well are, we will unfortunately not be getting replacements for these missing items. We we have no option but to substitute the Splatoon plus Squid Inkling in your order with the standard version of a game. You will receive your Inkling Girl and Inkling Boy Amiibo. Uh, we will be discounting this edition by £10 from 15 £10! 50... Yes. Sorry. <laughs> from 52.99 to 42.99. Uh, Fuck to, that. To apologise for this inconvenience, we will also be sending your order by first class post by Friday 29th as we want to make sure you are happy with this substitution. Rage! <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, and then it's basically saying if you want to cancel, blah, 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 blah. So, Jesus, the, I know Amiibos are really high in demand, but really? <laughs> what, that, man. what the hell? What the actual hell? Grand Theft. Uh, it's now, first of all, the shame of them having to admit that, no excuse, shamefacedly saying this, then saying, sorry, we won't be able to replace it. Fuck you guys. Here's a £10 discount. Rude. Yeah, I I just like. What? Rude. I know a few people. Um, a few of my friends. It's happened to them, and I am gutted for them. Seriously, it's just no one is having any luck with Nintendo at this point. I mean, uh, like I said in previous podcasts, like the Amiibos, it's going crazy. 
for for them. I'm I think after this next wave of amiibos that come, I'm not going to order anymore. It's too much stress, and it's too upsetting that you can't get them. I mean. One of my friends, he, he was so happy he got Lucina at Expo, but he had to buy Codename Steam to get it. And he was yeah. like, like, fuck this, I'm going to buy it, because if that's the only way I'm going to get Lucina, that's the only way I'm going to get her. He still needs to get Robin, but still, it's just one of those things... Amiibos are sent from, from hell. <laughs> I agree! I'm, I really agree. I don't even have Amiibos, because I know how much Addicted shit they cause. I'm not, even, I'm not like a Nintendo fan, particularly. Like, I don't have a Nintendo console or anything. Mm. Um... But, well, I mean, I have, like, a DS game, like, right there, but that's, ha- you know, brain training, and I don't play it, so it <laughs> doesn't count. I play a lot on my Nintendo 3DS. I actually you downloaded did. the puzzle game, um, the puzzle and dungeons game. So I have to play that, but once I go through everything, uh, expo-wise. Uh, um, but, yeah, I just... Seriously, there must be some scalpers <laughs> just like trekking the van. This is literally like a heist in GTA that you see. It's just, I I don't know. Th- th- this happened, I think, a long time ago. Uh, funny enough, I think, oh, I can't remember what it was, but something else went missing, like a whole, excuse me, a whole load of stuff, and they had to compensate because they couldn't actually get any more in. But Yay. my God, it's just getting a ha- Bit ridiculous, how how lapsidaisical must you be to let your whole van get robbed? I know, and the fact that this probably is a big van because if it's for the people who pre ordered it online, that's a lot of people. Seriously. I. Oh, I don't know. I, I just don't even. I really do not <laughs> even on this. Um, I have ordered one of the Inklings, but I didn't order the game because I wanted to get it on the day in the shop. So I'll probably get it Saturday. Um, but still, what? <laughs> I'm done. It's still like just so mind-boggling that this could happen, you know? Yeah, very much so. Um, yeah, I don't get it. I I, I just can't wait to see the next story of uh, amiibos going missing, of or they suddenly disappeared from the face of the planet. Like all of them, like Satan, Satan recalled them because they had thoughts. <laughs> He wanted to torture humanity, but never like this. Not no. like this. No. Satan's on it, man. I meant to actually, funnily enough, I meant to put that video up of the warp zone because it does kind of involve that of the amiibos. Um, yeah, it does involve the devil, which is actually very funny but very scary at the same time. <laughs> it's like Nintendo will have your soul, sort of thing. It's a bit creepy. Well, they, all, the they already have some people's souls, so. They're working their way towards, you know, the entire planet. Slowly but surely. Um, I don't think I have any other gaming news apart from that. <laughs> I have something very brief and vague. Go on. FIFA 16 is actually going to have female teams. Oh, yes! Yay! I did see this and I was like, about time. Yeah. Like, I don't play FIFA. Like, I'm not really interested in it as a game, as a franchise, but... You know, it's great that they're actually like, yeah, female footballers also, because female footballers have been doing football since football was also invented. It's not just, you know, it's not just, you know, for men. I've seen a lot of people like, oh, that's cool. And then a lot of people going, what the fuck? Well, you know, if if you're one of those people who go, what the fuck, you can get the fuck out. Mm. Female footballers, yeah. (laughs) It's been a long time coming. I think because now it's becoming really popular... Um, they're, they're playing it more on TV now, women's football, which is good. Well, maybe, maybe it's just because they want to kick some balls. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, <laughs> Carry on. I have nothing else on that note. <laughs> <laughs> I, th- I think we're done. Is there anything else that you can think of? Cons will be on quiet season now till July. <laughs> till July. And then literally three, one after the other. Boom! Because you've got LAGC, Hyper Japan, LFCC. Boom! And then... Sleep. <laughs> and then Keita for me. And then shit on the dance floor. <laughs> I'm hoping anyway. Don't just disappoint me, Harriet. I will try not to, but... <laughs> no! I mean, give me live coverage! I'll just tweet throughout on our, on our, uh, our Twitter. <laughs> yes. 
if but I can. check every room. Well, funny enough, um, because I'll be doing a panel in one of the rooms, so they better not shit on the floor there. <laughs> <laughs> I will not be happy. <laughs> Seems like Aisha would be. <laughs> I'm not there. That's why I need the coverage. I'll be at Alcon. She'll be at Kitacon. And and that's it, really. I'll be at home. <laughs> Doing poo on the toilet? Oh god. <laughs> Maybe in the toilet there's a there's a difference. Aisha. Okay. In oh. the toilet. <laughs> on the toilet. Not on the toilet. <laughs> Squatting on the toilet, mercy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I have my head in my hands right here. Uh... Oh dear. <laughs> Good times. Good times. So I think we've come to the end of the show. <laughs> You think? <laughs> it always ends with shit. <laughs> she loves it. But good shit. She keeps coming back for more. <sighs> <sighs> Alright, so we'll, we'll see you next time. Catch you later. Bye! Bye! Oh man. <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs>